Europeans are funny type of people. They care for their own backyard, but they don't mind to sell all the garbage all around the world to the third world countries and dumping all their garbage on them. So this is a separate issue on top of it, but uh, at least we who are living here should be very much aware and our Guru Devas have given us guidelines which we try to follow, which we try to do. It's very important and I very humbly request you now most of the stuff we are doing unfortunately or fortunately whatever it's in Spanish because our work is mainly in the Spanish speaking area so but for example we have research on abortion there's so much information why people should not do abortion we have research on vegetarianism on the reasons of why people shouldn't take intoxications and all these things like uh, they're, they're major parts of our public information work and what's happening in South America is very interesting now we are often invited as the authorities on these issues just because we publish these things so many times we get invitations can you please come to university speak about this speak about that and that's not so direct but it's a the, in the end, it is very good because the people look towards the Vaishnavas as caring people of the environment, caring people of uh, Mother Cow, caring people and so many other things which are implications which are further developed and which would definitely require further uh, committees to go deeper into them and to report upon them. We all want to do, we want to say in the name of our Guru, we are giving the best to the world. So it should also be the best. That is a commitment we have. We have a commitment with quality. We have a commitment with uh, information. We have a commitment with uh, the sacred teachings of the Vedas and our Guru Devas. So there's quite a few co uh, commitments which we got when we came in contact with our spiritual teachers. So in this way, I offer this information to you. I brought these samples. You can uh, welcome to look at them. Anything you want to have copies, you just tell me and we make them. I didn't bring a store here full of CDs or things like that. But just like Urmila is offering this information that if you want to have those books, make sure you are uh, on her mailing list so that you will be informed when and where you can actually get them and uh, propagate these things and if you want to have these informations or you want to participate in that I repeat originalkingdom.org you find lots of information and also lots of research which is gone in there and in this way we may serve our Guru Varga with this increased awareness about environmental crisis. Questions, questions and suggestions to this topic, please. This was just my humble presentation. way to, to eat but sometimes we uh, we can see vegetarianism is not good enough <coughs> for, the, for the health of the people we must to introduce I think uh, some um, different aspects of way to have a vegetarian diet, for example, no white sugar and uh, organic things, but something else must be about preparation, about uh, the cooking form, 
is uh, sometimes when we are cooking, uh, we can um, not take care about uh, the, the food to get more healthy about it. Like for example, uh, for example, too much spices in vegetables, they are not so healthy for people and sometimes they get sick even they don't know about it. And I don't know how is it possible to become um, or to introduce other ways to to cook or to have healthy uh, healthy preparation or recipes in the Krishna consciousness. Very complicated subject because so many different styles of eating in every country. If you want to tell a Mexican that he shouldn't use chili, then what is he going to tell you? Uh, it's like certain certain things are a little bit exaggerated. What I, the way I handle these things is like that. If you have something good to give, put it in writing, make a blog, offer the information, and then try to propagate it with the motivation you have. I just recently found uh, a way how to eat raw food. It's called living food, which is so delicious and at the same time much more healthy than fried food. But now I don't think the whole world has to eat that way. I don't, I don't think I have time for that one. But if that knowledge is available, why not share that knowledge? Now I'm personally, we have a, in the internet, we have a, a 10,000 recipe cookbook. So if people really want to find out recipes, vegetarian recipes, good recipes, now then it's different what the sick person eats, what the healthy person eats. I think it's a, it's a whole world of it. And if somebody like you with medical studies has an idea, oh, I think it's the best this way, so put it in writing, put it in a blog at least, make it available and then see if those people are interested. That's why we have that's why we have our newsletters, our websites of the World Vaishnava Association. If, if you put something very nicely together, we surely will promote it. But I don't think that is... Seven except general recommendations is not something we want to get involved with to tell everybody in the world what they should eat. But when I say that we shouldn't offer poisons to Krishna, which is Urya, and pesticides and things like that. That is very general and this is very, very urgent. But like for example, uh, well, I don't want to get into the details here because it's, a, it's an endless topic, food. An endless topic. And our concern in the following Srila Prabhupada top and foremost is that we shouldn't kill animals. We should be responsible that people start loving each other and loving the animals. That's at least the way I understand it. Further comments? Questions? It's also a bit about jurisdictions. Of course we are free to talk anything here, no? We are no there's no there's no <laughs> prohibition, no? But also we want to be feasible or practical in what we are doing. And for example, to inform devotees about basic problems which many people are just ignorant about. Even that we do by offering that information on websites and promoting it. What more can we do? This is something which came to my mind when I heard my godbrother speak about the miracles today. I said, one of the miracles of Lord Chaitanya, believe it or not, is the internet. You may say, what? The internet, invented by who knows who, Pentagon for its military purposes or what not. Why is it, the, why is it the, a miracle? Well, because when we met our Srila Prabhupada, he kind of impressed it upon us that everybody should have his books. 
And so we went out and distributing these books. We made spent so much efforts in this Tripurai Maharaj and other distribute, distribute these books. Get, let everybody in the world have these books. It's, they are so important. So we, we really gave a part of our youth to this project. And today, a few years later, you can load down from the internet every single book of Srila Prabhupada and you can have them in PDF form for free. So what's the situation today? Today we don't have to distribute the books. Today we have to behave in such a way that people want to read those books because they already have them. But they have a lot of other stuff also and they may not look at the books of Srila Prabhupada just like many people bought the books and they never looked at them either. So it's, it's not just about the physical exercise of, of distributing a book. It is, it is something of creating the necessity of a culture, of uh, uh, finding people who want to change their consciousness about life and doing things like that. So I was so amazed because I was one of those devotees running on the street trying to convince one person to buy one Bhagavad Gita, begging them practically and my... And my uh, capacity and now these books are all available in everyone's home and in every language with pictures of Prabhupada, with original sound files, with his lectures. It is absolutely amazing what the internet has done to the world in regards of distribution of information. And we know a word of Prabhupada, the book of Prabhupada, whether you get it personally or in PDF form, it's no difference. Prabhupada is Prabhupada, Krishna is Krishna. So what the technology has done in this respect, that's a miracle. I would, I would say in the words of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, the internet has become the Giga Medanga. Before we had the Maha Brihat Medanga, now we got the Giga Medanga. And it is working. I mean, we are working on the internet even though we know there's a lot of dangers also inherent in the whole technology, in the whole system, it's a very thing, but we cannot deny the fact that this is going on. And therefore also many communication things nowadays happen over the internet. Of course, every Acharya, every mission manages that in their own particular way. But at least for our mission, for example, I can say we are sticking together very closely because we are always communicating Every Sunday we have a chat in our mission where everybody who has time joins in and those who don't have time they get it later printed out. So it's a living thing. I mean, if I could have had as much association with Srila Prabhupada as nowadays people can have through the technology with their spiritual masters, oh, I couldn't, I don't know, I couldn't even dream of it. In our time to hear something new from Prabhupada that took months and months to even reach us. Anyhow, this was a, uh, a little comment from my side. Any further questioning about the environmental crisis issues and Vaishnava lifestyles in this regard?